Hi Taurus, welcome to your full moon reading in Sagittarius for June 3rd, 2023. Full moons close out cycles, so we're closing out a cycle, and the theme for your next two weeks is the star. Um, this card says it offers a yes answer. I'll leave that for you. Um, but these are wishes, um, accomplishments, success, healing, recovery, things that are maybe um, destined for the future, feeling like we're being led to something or towards our future. Um, I equate it with information as well because it is associated with the sign um, Aquarius, and for me, Aquarius is information. Um, so you may receive information that beckons you on or leads you to a particular um, scenario, situation. Uh, it is can be your destiny, um, but it's also being a guiding light and having a guiding light. So I like that. Okay, it can also be like you, like you're kind of between worlds, um, like one foot in reality and one on the other side. Um, so you could get information and epiphanies and um, and like little drops of thought. <laughs> that fall into your head just kind of like where did that come from but it's a genius idea kind of thing okay nice so you're closing out a magician cycle the magician is your vision for something it is becoming conscious of something and then wanting to master it so let's say you just found out that you like racing cars and you're like okay I want to become proficient in that and maybe I don't you know immediately begin with Formula One right <laughs> but, but you go go-karting and or you look start looking into cars you want to master something with the magician card there's a big focus on something and it is taking the energy of your ideas your vision right your vision and manifesting it on the physical plane, but it is the first um, steps you take. And not only that, it is, um, it's, well, it is manifestation and mastery, but whatever that it is that you're doing, your vision is what you will hold all your um, decisions accountable towards. So every decision that you make, you'll be like, okay, so does this match my vision? Is this what I was hoping to create um, or master? It's associated with the uh, planet Mercury, and so your words have a lot of weight here. Your words, your, and that can be spoken, but it can also be internal. So this is about decreeing something. I make a decree. I decree my vision, let's say. Two major arcana, so this can be things going on on an internal level. However, the external world always reflects back to you what's happening on an internal, um, on the internal way, in the internal level. Um, I will say this, though. His... Um, snake belt is calling my attention and these are cycles and these are never ending cycles and one thing feeds another oh, it's getting a little windy um, so let's say you finished um, a study but it led you to a new idea or a new thing that you would like to study that kind of energy uh, and the Hermit card is looking for that information. It's seeking um, knowledge. And then what the Hermit does is he takes that knowledge and turns it into wisdom by digesting the information, uh, having experiences, because nine is always the experiential um, conclusion, right? Um, nine is right before ten. Ten is the ending of a cycle and beginning something simultaneously, but that nine is the cumulative uh, information that the hermit takes. He digests it. He may experience something that really gives him 
not just knowledge, but wisdom through that um, accumulated um, information or experience. Um, so I think that what I'm seeing here is that there is something new that's beckoning you on with the star card and you're at the very first stages of it, especially on an internal level. And the magician card is um, pushing you to understand what it is you want out of the situation. What's your vision? And then the hermit will gather information to figure that out. You may feel like you would like to be alone or you could feel very internal while this um, cycle is going on. Or maybe it's just at the beginning of the cycle. Wow, you're the Eight of Wands. So this pairs super nice with the Magician because it is thoughts and ideas and um, passions that are all directed in the same uh, direction, which is exactly what he's doing. He's pulling down the uh, vision or the idea of the situation. It funnels through him. He's the con um, the conductor, right? And um, makes it manifest. And the Eight of Wands is, it's even my um, Law of Attraction card, uh, Sun in Sagittarius. Sun? Mercury in Sagittarius, I believe. Yeah, Mercury, because it's the word. So it really does pair well with the magician. And, um, and this is just everything focused in the right direction, moving swiftly, and while it is still up in the air, nothing has quite landed yet, everything is moving in its proper direction. Very nice. Very nice Eight of Wands. So mind what you're thinking. Very important with the Magician. Very important with the Eight of Wands. Uh, keep your thoughts in the direction that you want them to go because uh, it seems to me like things are manifesting very nicely for you. Five of Cups. Aries just had this in the same position. Um, okay. Well, there have been things very probably that have not worked out and they kind of leave you feeling a little bit in the doldrums. These can be regrets. And so this may be one of the things that you're trying to avoid, especially where the Hermit card is concerned, because he's very wise, right? And he's been through an experience. And so now you may take into account some of the things that didn't work out well for you and you may want to revise some of that. Five always pushes us to find balance because it is in, uh, it's instability and so it's pushing us to find balance here but this is on an emotional level my feeling is we want to get past this with the eight of wands it's kind of like if I just keeping in, keep thinking in this direction, then I don't have to deal with this. That could be avoidance, but it could also be smart, <laughs> just because you don't want to um, taint your vision. And remember I said keeping things um, in their proper perspective and in the direction that you want them to go in. Well, the outcome is a Queen of Cups. This is my Scorpio card. So this can be a female, round in features. Um, water signs often have the um, outside of their eye turned down just a little bit. Um, and again, look towards the chin uh, to see if there's a roundness there, if this is a uh, water element person that you might be thinking of. They're emotional. Um, this Queen of Cups can be highly, highly focused on her emotional life or just focused in general. She has uh, the ability to focus deeply. Uh, they're very deep feeling people and they have excellent uh, intuition and sometimes psychic abilities. They are learning to master their emotions and can be quite close, but the king is the master and she's focusing on doing that. Okay, and with that you have the full card. Okay.
Nice. A new potential, new possibilities. And it's really nice and even because you have three minor arcana and three major. So there's a nice balance there. Um, you can be quite internal, but still very um, able to make things happen on the physical level. There's a lot of emotion, I think, during the next two weeks that you might be considering. If you think about it, she's very highly focused and probably on, again, some of the regrets, some of the things that, um, that she had hoped would work out, but possibly didn't. Um, for somebody, there can be some disappointment in a female that just came up just now. So somebody could be disappointed in a female. Maybe they hoped for more. Um, maybe it was a foolish gesture or something that was said that maybe can't be taken back but shouldn't have been said. Um, but it's also, uh, for the majority of people, I think it's a new opportunity a new vision, and again, the star card, right? It's it's this thing that propels you forward. The sort of, in, in this case, it could even be divine discontent, that something is so um, displeasing that you think, let me turn away from this and put my attention on something that I really want, that, that inspires me, that I can inspire others with. It's that kind of energy. So the fool can just be that new journey. Um, new uh, potential. I always think of the fool as pure potential. It's like um, it's like the egg or the seed that holds the entire plant or chicken or animal or whatever. Pure potential. All right, let's get some clarification here. Wow, another major arcana. This is really nice. If this is creative projects, um, you can be highly creative. If you're seeking out a creative individual, you can find them. If you are finding or searching for the perfect quintessential female, you could find them. And it may come quite unexpectedly with the fool. It may be like... You're just walking along and, you know, it's like the cute meets. All of a sudden there's somebody right in front of you or you bump into them and spill your coffee on them or that kind of thing. It's, um, it's kismet. The Empress is, for me, very much a creative uh, influence. And um, these are the details of our vision. So the... A magician card is the vision, the high priestess card is the structure, and the empress cards are the beautiful details that we put upon that structure of our vision. The trinity, it's holy. Uh, it is nature. So you could be feeling um, like you want to be more in nature. You could feel more creative. Somebody may want to get pregnant and perhaps did not have that ability uh, with the Five of Cups there. And so um, they weren't able to. And there may be, with the Fool card, possibility of a, a different opportunity, a new opportunity, something for the future. Um, it could just be nurturing and motherly. But I feel very much creative potential here, yep. Eight of Pentacles, there is work related here. We are, <laughs> we are definitely uh, pushing away this energy here uh, and focusing because this is um, the card of pushing away all distractions and just getting job done, but it's also creative actualization, creative uh, energy, which goes very well with the Empress card. So you're going to be very, very creative in this next two weeks. And I think you can get a lot accomplished, a lot done. Which helps you to, <laughs> in that case, walk away from emotional baggage, from old emotional stuff that you no longer need or no longer necessary because you have this fresh new energy in front of you uh, and you're looking towards an eye towards the future. Really nice. And the Eight of, of Cups, so you have two, three eights. That's a lot of power. Eight is power. Now, that can go... Uh, either way, 
it can go for the good or its opposite. So, but it is power. And so you have a lot of power to uh, get the job done, to find your creative potential, to actually physically work on it, and to make manifest, and to start this new journey that you are intending to go on. What does Spirit want you to know? You have the universe. This is a card that uh, is not in the regular tarot, so uh, I'll read it. It's infinite growth, and you can see that with the eight of... Um, with the eights, the three eights, but also that a snake car uh, image that I was saying, it's infinite, it keeps going, it's something that it keeps feeding you, right? Um, then there's evolution and regress as a negative thing, possibilities, stagnation, or decadence, the universe. It's a beautiful card. I think it's very positive. It goes beyond the world. <laughs> it's the universe. So it encompasses even more than just what is in our earthly plane. And you can see that here with the several of the major arcana cards that you have. Um, wonderful reading. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you for listening. I'll be back. And I do dailies. Take care. Bye.